old road got a nice paved walkway. So if you, yeah, even if you wheelchair, you can make it to the overlook. And here's the trail. Trail down, overlook. Chena Bridge. It's a big, thick one. This end of water comes down the canyon and it kind of cut in right there. But it used to go that way and go around. But it also cut in that wall from the other side too until they joined. See, it used to meander completely around. But then it cut through and made a shortcut. Now it just goes through here and then left this as a dead end now. Okay, we're taking the trail down to the bridge, but we're not gonna go all the way down. I just ran into a little Japanese guy with a tripod and a camera that was like twice as big as he was he told me when we get to the ladder he said don't go no farther he said you go all the way to the bottom he said tree cover tree cover no good photo he said no good photo so to the ladder he said big old overhang be nice here later when the sun's a little higher in the sky be shade here I just wanted to show you my hat here. It's a mission hat, but it's a cooling hat. So you just turn this thing over and just kind of dribble some of that around the rib. There. Yeah, well, it's got a whole cooling band here and one in front. And you just wave your hat here. And this thing gets cold. I mean cold, like you just pulled it right out of your refrigerator. I mean it is cold. Right now it's cold as hell on my head. Like I just pulled it out of my refrigerator. And it'll stay wet for a little while and about every 10 minutes just take it off, wave it in the air and it gets cold again. These things really do work. And they make uh, hiking a lot less painful because you feel so cool instead of overheated so i do recommend them they also got cooling towels we've used them before too but you got to kind of wrap them around your neck and keep them on okay i'm just talking to my youtube people oh, yep. <laughs> oh goodness that's beautiful but it's hot on that hillside yeah it is Oh yeah, we're still recording. I don't know if I had the camera on or not. Man, which way does the truck go? I think it goes that way. But there's the bridge. See what he means about the trees. There's a lot of trees down there. So the dude with the giant camera said the ladder was the best shot. Now where's the ladder? Don't come to these places if you're afraid of heights. They bother me at first, but then I get kind of used to it. You can almost see under this thing now.
So I'm gonna head back up. We'll move on to that. There's one more bridge. And we're down here with this national park. I'm going to come down far enough to see the sky underneath. Somebody say hello, but I don't see somebody. I don't see anybody. This is a good example. It used to meander. See, the stream used to meander through here. That was a wall. It carved a gouge out of it and went around the bend. And then it came over here and it meandered around the backside and it gouged out from the other side of the wall. And at some point, the wall collapsed and left the bridge. And then the water stopped going through the meander and now it goes under the bridge. Back up now. It's quiet down here. And we're gonna head back to camp now. We got a pretty nice spot, so we're just gonna kind of veg for a couple hours before sunset. Just wanna show we're kicked back. We got some uh, what are these called? Buzz bombs? It's buzz like balls. buzz balls. Look. It's like orange wine with it's fifteen percent alcohol. They they get a little kick to them. There's the sun setting. We're in that direction. I only got one neighbor that I can see in there way over there. See that trailer? Way over there like that. And then got my shower house. We'll have a little fire here in a little bit. Got my tiki torches all set up on their little pedestals. Anyway, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's free. Absolutely no cost. BLM land.